All right, ladies and gentlemen of the media, I would like to welcome your quarterback of the Skeeters, Devin McGinnis. <coughs> How's it going, guys? Devin, yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, should I field some questions for you? Uh, first off, we got uh, Mike Turnblatt from the Chicago Times. Uh, first off, we just want to know, uh, how, you, how are you feeling on this season? How, how's everything going with you? You know, it's good. Personally. Yeah. Can't really complain. You know, team's 3-0. Uh, we're really clicking offensively, defensively. Everything's going our way for now. Not a lot of complaints. Uh, of course, there's always things we can get better on, but uh, we're working every day in practice. Coach is keeping us on the ball. So, you know, I can't really complain right now when you're undefeated. You know, everything's going pretty well. I've right, we got another question over here by uh, Mariano Rivera from the Miami, Florida International Times. Devin, you've thrown no interceptions this year. Uh, a lot of people are giving you all the credit. Um, we know that you're not really a selfish player, so what do you think has been the key to your great success this season? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I've said this time and time out, but, you know, I can throw it wherever I want to throw it. Someone's got to be on the other end to catch the ball. Um, so, you know, this isn't just me. You know, sure, I'm making great plays, but, you know, the coach is calling in great calls. You know, we're getting a good matchups on the outside. Our receivers running some great routes. They've been really working hard on that this year. So, you know, the line, I mean, I, I got all the time in the world back there, it seems like. So, you know, I can't do this on my own. The team's playing great. Um, and I'm just lucky to have such a great team, great coaching staff around me. So, I'm, I'm really just enjoying this right now. Yeah. We got uh, Gary Busey from the Nevada Tribune. Uh, you know, we've only done interviews with Coach Ferraro around. And uh, we just kind of want to get your opinion on him, how he's doing, how do you think he's handling the team this season. Honestly, with Coach Farrar not around, I need to tell you something. Coach Farrar is one of the best coaches that I've ever played for in my entire life. I've played for a lot of coaches. Um, you know, you're not going to see a coach that's more dedicated to his craft. Uh, this guy watches film like you would not believe. You know, breakfast, film. Lunch, film. Dinner, film. That's all a guy's doing. You know, on the sideline, you know, he's getting our calls in. You know, we don't have any, you know... We're not getting any delay of games because he's taking too long to get calls in. He's recognizing defenses. He's seeing what offenses are running. You know, he's, I mean, it's just it's, it's honestly amazing. You know, he's 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 really like a second quarterback out there for me. He's just helping me so much. Um, this team's nothing without Coach Ferraro, and I can't stress that enough. You know, we've had great coaches in the past. No one's no one's going to say that they're not great coaches, but just a whole different level when you when you come to Chris Ferraro as, as your head coach. And I, I love him, and I, I, I couldn't do it without him. I've right, got Perez Hilton from Perez Hilton Online. Uh, you know, your popularity is kind of soaring. Uh, how is it that you're handling campus life? Like, is it hard walking around campus nowadays? Like, are people noticing you, seeing like, wow, that's, you know, that's our leader, our quarterback, the hope that we really can move on this season? Yeah. No, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's different, you know. In the past, you know, I don't really think anyone who I was. You know, I would just walk around and, and people would walk right past me. But, unfortunately, I can't do that anymore, you know. I, when I go out, you know, I'm getting mobbed, you know, autograph this, sign that, you know, which is fine. You know, I don't want to be that athlete who's going to say no to the little kid who's going to come up, you know, and wants me to sign a football for him. You know, because I was that little kid once. You know, I had my heroes just like everyone else has had their heroes. And if I have to be that hero to that little kid, then that's just the role that I'm going to play, you know. But, but yeah, it's getting harder around campus. I've, I've actually enrolled in a few online classes. And it's just, you know, my studies are, are really important to me, and I don't want to be distracted in the classroom. You know, I can't. Can't go to church anymore, you know, I can't focus on that. You know, the mall is out of question, eating out, you know, I get a lot of take in, you know, so it's just, it's just, it's just a different lifestyle, but, you know, I'm happy to do it for the team. You know, whatever, whatever's going to help this team win and help us thrive on and off the field is what I'm going to do. So that, that's about it right now. All right. We got a Skip Bayless from the San Francisco Tribune. Um, last game, you had, I think it was four touchdown passes and five sacks. You really, uh, you were the MVP on both sides of the ball last week. Uh, can we just talk about your mindset going into that game? Yeah. Well, you know, we knew coming into the game that we were in for a battle. Um, you know, we'd been hearing the, the chatter on, on the message boards. You know, we read those things too, guys. You know, we, we try not to, but we read them. Everyone's saying until Team 6 is going to put it to us. But we didn't let that get to us. You know, we knew if we came in and we played our game that, that we would be just fine. You know, we came out. Uh, you know, Trey got a, Trey Demick got a great interception to lead off the game. That really put things, you know, in perspective and, and let us know that we could do this. We came out, had some great drives. You know, the offense was clicking, like I said. Defense was just, I mean, the defense. I can't say enough about our defense, you know. Um, but, but yeah, you know, we were, we were a little intimidated, but we came out. You know, we played our brand of football, and we were lucky enough to get the win. And now we're just, you know, moved on focused on next week. We got three more questions. Three more questions only. Devin, uh, Stephen A. Smith from the New York Times. Uh, you know, 
your line hasn't given up a sack. And we like, uh, you know, we give you a lot of the credit, but, you know, the pressure hasn't really been there for you. And uh, we just want to get your opinion on your line. You know, we hear you take them out to dinner often when you can. And we hear you have them over for, you know, just uh, events to just thank them. Uh, what do you think about your line this year? Let me I mean, I, I can't say enough about those guys. You know, it starts off with Wesley Cooler, you know, making his reads at center. You know, he helps me call out the mic. You know, we, we get we get in the right formation to start with Wesley, you know. Then you got you got Trey Dimmick, you know, he's out there. You know, almost every – he's just – you don't call his name enough. You know, he's, he just does not get enough attention. But he's out there. He's throwing key blocks. You know, he's getting downfield. He's really doing the little things that you're just not going to see on a stat sheet, but it's really helping our team win. Then you got John Clegg on the other side. And, you know, John Clegg is an enforcer out there at – do not get me wrong, you know, he might look like a gentle giant, but when he gets out on that fight football field, that kid's mean. You do not want to get in his way if he's about to block you, you know. I mean, he's leading the league in pancake blocks, you know, people are just falling down left and right, just coming into him. It's a brick wall out there, but, yeah, I mean, I like to take them out to dinner when I can, you know. They, they deserve a lot more than credit than they get, so, you know, I like to let them know that I appreciate them. You know, we come over, we play board games, we watch movies, you know. Just the little things that, you know, really help us bond as a team, you know. Just, I just try to get them together and let them know that I appreciate them because they do need to be appreciated. All right, we got uh, Tom Tebow from CBS Sports. Uh, you know, there's been some rumors going around that you're, uh, you know, you and Carrie Underwood are kind of having an affair. Uh, we just want to get kind of your word on that. Um, you know, we like to think of you as like a, uh, you know, a symbol that the kids can look up to. We all know she's married, but we just want to know, is it true? Yeah, well, uh, first off, you know, I normally wouldn't address these kind of questions. You know, because this is not related to football. I don't see what this has to do. Uh, Carrie and I have been friends for a great, great, great amount of time now. You know, we've been we've been friends for a while. We went to preschool together. Um, you know, we used to we used to finger paint. You know, we would finger paint each other. It was really fun. But you know, that was in the past. You know, Carrie's got a great husband. Um, I, I respect that relationship. You know, and just because a couple people go out to dinner every now and then, and just because someone's sneaking out of someone's house late at night, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something malicious going on. You know, we can be friends and hang out in the wee hours of the evening, and there doesn't have to be anything fishy going on. You know, Carrie and I know what our relationship is at the moment, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Last question. Uh, we got uh, Jerome Bettis, Pittsburgh Times. You know, you guys got going into the playoffs. You can't overlook this next game coming up. It's kind of looking like a squash match, but... um. You guys got the playoffs coming up. What is your prediction for the playoffs? Yeah, well, I mean, first off, you know, I want to emphasize that we are not overlooking this next team. Um, we don't know too much about them. Um, we are confident that, that we're going to be victorious, but, you know, we're not going to overlook anybody. But uh, that being said, uh, this team is excited for the playoffs. Um, this is our fourth year coming to the playoffs. You know, we want, we want to prove this year that, that we can be that number one seed. We want to prove that this is, this is our year. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to work hard, you know, day in, day out. And we're just going to do our best out there. Um, hopefully that means we're going to be successful, you know, make a deep run in the playoffs into October, maybe November, hopefully December. You know, we're just going to keep rolling, and we're going to just see where that takes us. But we're not going to look, overlook anybody. We're just going to take it one week at a time. So that's about it. All right, thank you, Devin. That'll All be right. it for questions. Have a good week. See you next week, guys.